Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. This video tutorial is the continuation of my previous video where we had learned how to implement default and a static method in interfaces in Java 8. So practical things we had seen in earlier video tutorials. Now uh, when you define default or a static method in an interface in Java 8 then some of the things you need to keep in your in your mind like overriding methods on object class methods it is not possible for an interface to provide default implementation for the methods in object trying to do so will result in a compilation error if any class in the hierarchy has a method with same signature as object class methods then default method become irrelevant since any class implementing an interface already has objects as super class if we have equals hash code uh, default methods in interface it will become irrelevant that's why for greater clarity interfaces are not allowed to have object default method so let me show you this through an example so we have this interface and here if you want to define uh, def if you want to define a default method with the uh, method methods which are available in the object class so let me show you the object class which is the part of the JDK itself and here we have a lot of methods over here especially final method you cannot override right uh, but uh, methods like uh, uh, <coughs> sorry methods like hash code is not a final so you can override in your class and we have a equals method also we can override and there are some many more method so wherever you see if means these methods are final final method cannot be override even finalize equals has code these are the method can be overridden into the subclass and as we know that object is the super class of all classes so here my class implements this interface uh, my interface and here we have defined some default method but in this interface if you do want to def if you oh, if you try to define uh, if you try to define methods like equals uh, with the same signature which is available in the object class in interface then this will uh, this will show you compilation error right this will not allow you to override i mean equals has code or some other non final method uh, uh method to be overridden you know your subclass because this uh, see uh, overall this interface is going to implement by uh, this class right so and here by implicitly this class this class extend object class right this extends object class and th this happens implicitly so equals method is already available in the object class right so object method you can override in my class but you cannot define this method in the this interface else there will be two signature of equals method one will be in interface my interface another will be object so compiler will get confused right which method has to access whether uh, compiler will uh, get there will be some ambiguity right compiler will get confused whether I have to access method which is available in the my interface or uh, object class equals method so that's the reason you cannot override uh, objects method as a default method in any interface in Java 8 so this is the one of the restriction you will have to keep in your mind while designing the default method in Java 8 now some of the key points uh, will have to keep in mind these are the important key points when you write a static or default method in interface in Java 8 like default methods enable you to add new functionality to the interfaces of your libraries and ensure binary compatibility with code written for the older version of those interfaces and these things you can e express in another words like interface default method helps in extending interfaces without having the fear of breaking the implementation classes like uh, some of the default method we can see in the existing JDK itself 
so if you press ctrl shift t and if you go to the com comparator package then uh, comparator is a functional interface when i say when you get any interface is annotated as at the rate functional interfaces means this interface contains only one abstract method so if you look into this comparator interface and this and this only will get in java 8 so wherever you see d a small symbol so these are the default method and we have an abstract method like compare right so this is abstract so when your class implements comparator interface then you need to override this compare method right so and you can see a lot of default methods java 8 has defined so so why i mean java engineers have added these methods implementation as a default because when you implement when your uh, your custom class implements comparator interface then a developer will not be uh, forced to implement this interface so basically existing api is not going to break so that's the reason in existing interface java engineers have retained some method definition and they made as default so in overriding of this method that depends on the developer whether developer wants to override this method or not that depends on the developer itself but developer will not be forced to implement this interface that's why they wanted to maintain the uh, they wanted to maintain this compatibility with the older version of jtk itself now next point we have uh, normally static method in interface is used as the helper methods while default methods are used as a default implementation for classes that implements that interface so basically uh, if you look into my interface then here i have defined a method as a like greet method right so this method uh, can be called by this interface right so to call this method any class has not to implement this interface directly any class can call this method by this interface name itself so this method is available globally and so to access this method class has not to implement this interface so if you want to implement some utility utility method then you can go for this approach so that's why uh, this point says now next point we have a default methods can be overridden in the implementation implementing class while a static cannot so if your if your class implements this interface then you cannot override this method but uh, still you can define this method in your uh, implementation class and uh, this this method will be called by this interface name and if you define method in my class if you want to define a same method signature with the same method signature which is available in your, your, your my interface so something like this then of course you, you can define and this will not throw you any error but this is not the case of overriding right so you can call this method by my class dot greet and if you want to call greet method of my interface then you can refer this method by interface itself right but if you try to use your o at the rate override so as we know that a static method cannot be overridden so this will throw you compilation error right saying that the method greet of type my class must override or implement the super uh, type method so basically this will not allow you to override a static method So default method can be overridden in the uh, implementing class while a static method cannot but default method of course you can override right so if, if you have a default method in my interface like uh, this method so this method you can override and uh, over overriding of this method is depends on the developer whether want to override or not so this this will so so only you need to remove this default keyboard and this will allow you to override so that's why this point says now both implementation class and interface can have a static methods with same name and neither overrides other so which is already we have seen right a static method with the same method signature you can define in the uh, interface as well as in the, as well as 
implementation class with the uh, same method signature and that can be referred by the uh, corresponding class name as well as interface and that will work uh, perfectly fine but you cannot override it now last point we have a remember in case a class is implementing more than one interfaces with the same default method signature then the implementing class needs to override the default method so let me show you this through an example so right click over here and let's say so default sorry default methods demo something like this and here I can create our two interface interface i1 sorry this will be the package name so i1 and package name com dot info tip And here you can define a method, default method like default public void display. Right, and here we can print a message so that we can see which method is getting called like i1 dot this indicates display method of interface i1 is getting called now we can create another interface in the same package with name i2 now again you can define a default method with same method signature but here i2 display method and you can create a class is called welcome and this guy is going to implement these two interfaces so a class can implement n number of interfaces so i1 comma i2 right if your class implements these two interface then override default method right so this class is basically now forcing you to override default method right default method now we can create a main method over here right and we can call this method default method so welcome welcome new welcome right and you can call <coughs> sorry uh, display method right and basically this will call the i1 dot super dot display so this will call the display method of uh, available in the interface i1 so if i run it then this is calling the i1 display method if you specify i2 then this will call i2 display method so this way you can re refer display method which is available on the i1 as well as i2 interface but here display method is the default method is still compiler force you to override this method and here compiler is just telling which method whether you want to call the display method which is available on the i1 or i2 so this way you can call the display method so these things you will have to keep in mind so that's why this fifth uh, last point says so that's all I wanted to show you in this video tutorial. So in next video tutorial we will explore some new concept uh, available in the Java 8. So please be with me over there and thank you for watching this video.